What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Triple Sheet and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to move Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Warzone 2 to another drive on your PC, say from a hard drive to an SSD for more performance. How do we do it? Well, it's really simple. I'll be covering both Battle.net and Steam in this video, starting off with Battle.net. Even though I only own the game on Steam, I'll be showing you with an example over here, Overwatch. All you'll do in your case is locate Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2 and follow along with the rest of these steps verbatim. If you have an update, make sure you run it to completion and when it's done, we can click the cogwheel next to the play button, then choose show in Explorer. This will pull up the folder with all of our game files in it. All we need to do here is go back a folder so you can see Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2. Then when you've found this folder, all we need to do is right click cut and we'll move this to another drive. In my case, C, we can move it to say H drive. I have a folder here called Blizzard. I'll right click, paste it here. And after a few minutes, our game will have moved from one drive to another, just like that. Usually this will depend on the speed of your drives. In my case, I'm moving it between two SSDs, so it should be rather quick, even though this number here is definitely not correct. Oh, and I did forget to mention, if you have even an update downloading here for optional files, pause that as well. Okay, there we go. I've now moved it from one drive to another. All we need to do now is click the cogwheel and choose uninstall, then yes, uninstall. Click yes if prompted, and after a few seconds, it should say install. If you receive an error, simply close Battle.net and reopen it completely. Now that we've done this, we have an install button under Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2. Instead of clicking that, look right below it for locate the game, click this, and navigate across to where we have it. So in my case, it's H, Blizzard, and you can see Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, whatever here, with a couple of game files inside of it. We'll select this folder here, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2, and click Select Folder. If you open it by accident, don't click anything and choose Select Folder. Then, pretty much immediately, you'll be able to play, just like that. Really easy. Inside of Steam, it's a lot easier. All we need to do is locate the game, right click properties, head across to the local files tab, and then choose move install folder. Assuming you, or, assuming you already have, then we simply just need to choose a different drive here. And assuming you already have a Steam library on these other drives, you'll be able to select them here. I assume if you don't have Steam libraries on these drives or whatever other drives you have in your PC, you'll have the option to create and add one. Simply choose the drive you want to move it to, click OK, click move, and just like that, your game files will be moved from one place to another really quickly. Though I'm pretty sure when it's done, it'll scan and repair game files, so if anything is corrupted in the moving process, it'll be repaired and you can play once more. Assuming you don't have the option to create Steam libraries there and you're moving to a brand new drive, head across to Steam in the top left, then Settings, Downloads on the left hand side, and then Steam Library Folders. Inside of here, we can choose Drives from the very top, by clicking the plus, choose an empty drive here that we haven't previously got a Steam library on, click add, and just like that, we'll be able to install games to that drive. Really simple. So anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, be here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.